All right, now we're going to work on worksheet 3.2, 3.3, a review worksheet on special angle pairs and parallel lines. Um, again, we're focusing on the different kinds of angles that we have. Um, corresponding angles, those are the angles that make the F. Here and here. Um, alternate interior angles, those are the angles that make the D. Here and here. Um, alternate exterior angles, those are the angles that are outside the lines. And then the consecutive interior angles, those are the angles that make the C or the U. They will be between the lines and, and on the same side. Um, don't forget that we will continue to think about the linear pair angle, those two angles next to each other, and vertical angles, angles that are across from each other in an X. Uh, number one, angles three and eight, tracing those out. And the angle pair that we have, um, we trace those all the way. We notice that we get kind of that C shape, the U shape. Those are consecutive interior angles. Uh, if we do question number two, here we have angles eight, and two, angle eight is right here, angle two is up here, and if I trace those all the way out, you get that Z shape, a little above, a little below, that makes those alternate interior angles. Um, keep going on those um, and using any of those angle pair names above. These next couple questions I wanted to go over just because there are a few different ways to explain the answer, um, to name the value or the kinds of angles that you have and know that there are more than one possible answer. In question number eight, the first thing I notice is the x right in the middle with the x variable and so I know x has to equal 80 degrees. And I'm naming those as vertical angles. The other thing that I notice is that I have a Z right here. And so Y would also have to be 80 degrees. But you could also see the corresponding angles. And so you could answer one of two things here. You could say that Y is equal to 80 because alternate interior angles or you could say corresponding angles. So there's multiple different ways to answer those. So be comfortable with having more than one answer um, and still being right. Question number 11, I wanted to mention because it does say do not solve the equation. You're just supposed to set things up. So if you look at question number 11, um, a couple things, let's see if I I know I probably have to use this 92, I assume, because it doesn't have a variable in it. And if I look lower below it, I trace out the y value, and you see that we have that upside down f. I know those are corresponding angles, so I know that 92 has to equal 5y minus 17. Because those are corresponding angles. The other thing that I notice is that I have this 92 and I could put it with the X right here and those don't make any letter at all, but they are both outside. So I know that 92 is equal to 2X minus 4 by alternate exterior angles. Um, you could also use vertical angles right in here. If 92 goes there, then 92 has to go there with vertical angles. Multiple different ways to set them up, but in either case, you would always get the same answer. On page 2, we wanted to show you 13 because um, we do have to move angles around. There really are no special angle pairs in the diagram as they are given. But this 105 degrees right here, it can go in multiple places. Um, I could take it and put it on this side because those are alternate exterior angles and if I do that then I have 
a linear pair with the 4y plus 3. So I could say 105 plus 4y plus 3 equals 180 degrees because they are a linear pair. And I could also use the linear pair between these two angles, and I could say x minus 2 plus 105 is equal to 180 degrees by a linear pair. Um, other things you could try, you could take this 105, you could put it right here because those are vertical, and then you would have consecutive interiors. which also add up to 180 degrees. So again, multiple different answers, but all of the equations would give you the same final answer. So be comfortable with things not exactly being always the same as your neighbor. Lastly, I have a couple questions on page three. Um, here you have to decide what lines are parallel, given the angles that are there. So for question number 23, um, you will either answer M parallel to N, or P parallel to Q, or neither, depending on what you find. For question 23, we look and we see that they give us angle 2 and angle 11, and they say that they're equal. And if I look at those, those are my alternate interior angles, identifying the one line that cuts through both of them. In this case, the transversal turns out to be P, and M and N would be the two parallel lines. So we're going to say that M is parallel to N, BC, because alternate interiors are equals. Let's try that one more time. I want to do question number 24. Question 24, they talk about angle 1 and angle 8. And I notice that 1 and 8 do not make a letter. But in this case, now my transversal goes straight up and down. And that makes P and Q my parallel line. So we say P is parallel to Q because alternate exterior are equal. Be careful on those, they just can give you some optical illusions that make it a little tricky. The last chunk of questions use this diagram on the right um, and know that you just keep erasing your numbers and starting over with each problem. So for question number 27, it tells you that angle 2 is 130 degrees, and they're asking you what would angle 7 be down here. So I look at those two, and I notice that they are alternate exterior, so this would have to be 130 degrees. My alternate exterior angles. Then when you get to question number 28, you take out those numbers and you start fresh. So now angle four is 45 and we have to find angle six. Angle six is down here, angle four is up there and I notice that those make the C. Remembering that one is a cube and one is a two so they cannot be equal, they must be supplementary. So we take 180 minus 45, we get 135 degrees because for, um, consecutive interior um, angles equal 180 degrees. So again, remember, erase the 45 and start fresh with the next one. Angle 6 equals 123 degrees and go from there. Good luck. See you tomorrow in class.